And welcome back, guys. Friday Night Football number 37, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. My name is Zan here with Bugs. Round two action. And for the first time ever, our bounty moves on to the second round. That $1,000 Blitz cash prize still up for grabs if Skins can defeat Rage. Man, that's that's the, the magic question. Can Skins pull it off? Skins has had so many runs that it would be cool to see him pull it out because he hasn't really cashed in yet with Friday Night Footballs. He's gotten so close so many different times, but he hasn't actually cashed in. So this is his opportunity to actually cash in right now. Can he do it? Can he get it done? Here's again to the outside stretch. Lucky from the strong H wing. Very popular formation, gaining even more popularity. I apologize for that, guys, uh, as my phone was supposed to be on Do Not Disturb. But, hey, you know, we're not professional when I'm uh, remote here. Let me go ahead and turn that down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, uh, the Strong H Wing, very popular formation here. And uh, a great run game and actually has some really solid passing combinations. But it is that stretch looky, that RPO looky is one of the best run plays in the game. Very, very tough to use or shoot. Yeah, oh, it's really tough to shoot those runs. It's honestly the best run in the game, and he's running it from the best running formation, I feel like, where that strong eye, it's it's a true problem to deal with, a true problem. It's hard to stop it, and then you're using that RPO, and with the RPOs, as you guys may see, the, the defenders hesitate if you don't blitz them. If you see someone coming shooting straight down, then that means they're blitzing those guys. Otherwise they're going to hesitate because they're playing an RPO, so they kind of think that it's a passing play. So that's the reason why it's so effective. Third down and 11 from the 36-yard line of Rage as Skins comes out in the gun trips tight end. Skill position players for Rage. Looks like he's got Tyreek Hill, Gale Sayers. Is that Lee Smith playing tight end right there? That can't be Lee Smith. Uh, no way. He's going to throw the Lee wheel. Smith. No, nobody's using Lee Smith. Uh, but tight end named Smith. I wonder if he's... Uh, that's got to be a receiver, right? Yeah, number 81. 81 Smith. Hmm, let me think. It's tight end Smith. Tight end Smith. Uh, I'm normally good at this. I've, I'm honestly ashamed. Listen, I'm, I'm drawing normally... blanks. Let us know, <laughs> chat. <laughs> we're, we're drawing blanks right now. But I did see oh, Tyreek. John Smith. John Smith. I forgot about that guy. Yeah, yeah, John Smith. Jadu Smith, okay, from the, yeah, from the 15, Titans. Yeah, 15 cap tight end, 78 speed. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's 78 speed, 15 cap tight end. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, I forgot. Oh, he's a nice budget. That's a, that's budget a super, bu super budget play. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. He's a, Honestly, he's a really good card. Um, the one that I use, the tight end that I use is Michael Pruitt. He's 14 cap, 77 speed, gold tight end. So, yeah, both of those guys are really good. I think there's like two other tight ends that are also usable that has a cap about around that around that range, that 14 to 15 range. Here's the stretch give. Bo Jackson, left edge. Good defense. That's going to be Landon Collins in on that tackle. Short gain, second down and eight coming up. The single back wing close flex. Uh, Boogs, if you had to choose between this formation in the Oakland Raiders playbook or the stack formation, which is very similar, found in the Saints playbook, which one would you go to and why? I'm more of a fan of the close. The reason why is because the close is compressed, and but they also they have different um, different reasons why they're valuable. So with the close, it has that corner out that's really effective, really good, and so you can – with it being compressed like that so like if you're on the right hash for example the zone it's that corner i was going to get open i'm pretty sure it gets open on the short side as well but to the with to the wide side of the field uh it gets open really really well it's a really tough co corner out and huge touchdown right there by rage rage is playing lights out right now he's very impressive our re-roll winner guys uh red enigma 23 been following since may 16th of this year that is your re-roll winner again red enigma 23 check your whispers in the chat from mutthead tv you have won your choice between the joe thomas joe thomas mad ultimate team 10 item or a package of the ray lewis cam newton earl thomas and tyler lockett most feared items plus the ray lewis power up 
So uh, you, you can choose between those. Again, guys, we'll have more giveaways on deck tonight. We're going to give away, I think, at least four more of your choice of the Joe Thomas or those most feared players. So stay tuned in the chat. Be following the, uh, the channel. We'll have plenty of opportunities for you guys. And again, if you do win, make sure you guys give two business days to the group out there at EA Tiburon as we have second down and five, four skins. The biggest difference to start this game, Skins was able to get downfield, but he was held to three. Rage was able to get down the field, and he went and got seven. Honestly, it's it's the difference between winning and losing games. I, I mean, whether it's real life or on the game. My Lions just lost in real life because we couldn't get sevens. We got cheated. Actually, I don't even want to continue that conversation. <laughs> Let's focus on this game. I, I don't know why I got myself in that situation. I'm you just going to focus up. on this game. You know, I was going to lay off of, lay off you, Bugs, this week because I, I know what it feels like. I, I Actually, I felt bad for you guys. I really did because you guys played a great game last week. So uh, you won't hear any lion slander from me. I can't speak for the chat, though. You know you opened yourself up to that. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know why I just started that. I'm going to change topics. We're going to focus on Rage and, and Skins here. Rage has Skins on a huge fourth down. Can he get the lock up? Is he going to scream? He's going to go more of a coverage look right here. Aikman down the sideline, and that's going to be swatted. That is Jalen Ramsey, everybody's favorite new outside corner in Madden Ultimate Team. With that PBU, and that's going to give the turnover on downs back to Rage in field goal range. And it really has been – he's just played smart offense the last two weeks. I've been really impressed with his defense. Oh, most definitely. He's playing great defense. He's doing what he needs to do. He's making the necessary adjustments. And right there, he had Dion on an island. That's what you have Dion for. You put him on an island and say, go, go lock that side up. There is Bo Jackson. Again, that strong H-wing formation. You can find that in the Oakland Raiders – or the Seattle Seahawks playbook. So um, this is actually my base offense right now. This is what I'm running. Uh, I'm doing a lot of passing out of this set right now. But uh, if you choose the Raiders playbook, you get the strong tight. But if you choose mm -hmm. the Seahawks playbook, you actually get the I-form uh, H-wing, which is basically the same alignment with the fullback in line. And that has a flippable stretch, not a looky. So that gives you a flippable stretch in the Seahawks playbook, whereas the – Raiders has another stretch looky. So that's the main difference between the two books for those that are curious about that formation. Yeah. And to touch back on why I like the wing flex close, compressed sets, when you're forced to pass, I feel like it's you have more passing options. You have more route combinations that you can work with with the wing flex close than you would have with the uh, slot, just from my personal opinion. Jay Bird talking about the I form H wing, not the wing or not the H tight with the flippable stretch. There's also better one play touchdown beaters over the top against cover two in the Seattle book too. But uh, we won't we won't go there. That 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 might end up being on playbook here in the near future. So uh, I won't give away <laughs> too many too many. I don't have too many dots books. I got to keep the ones that I do have in my back yeah. pocket. Have to hold on to them. You can't share them because it, if your dots are limited, you can't give them all out. <laughs> It's charity out here. Uh, Rockets in the uh, Discord. Oh, uh, lots of requests tonight. Uh, of course, it is club series season. This is a big time of the year, every single year for us, not only at Mutthead, but also at, MC, uh, at EA with the MCS. So uh, with the club series coming up, there's going to be ample opportunity for some players that maybe haven't gotten invites to Friday Night Football to participate because there's a lot of players that are prepping for clubs and don't want to play and give film on themselves. And we totally understand that. We encourage it. We want all these guys out here to win as much MCS money as possible so if you guys want to compete in friday night football type exclamation point compete in the chat nightbot will post a link you guys can click that link fill out the application in its entirety do not skip any of the fields we meet every single friday just as we did today and we go over new applicants and we send out invitations so um you know if you guys think that you can make deep runs in these tournaments make sure you guys fill out that application
Rage playing some good run defense right here. He almost gave up a touchdown. He had a touchdown saving tackle on Gil Sears. Gil Sears broke a tackle and was about to be off to the races. Somehow, some way, one of his guys was able to make the game saving. I mean, not the game saving, but the touchdown saving tackle. And now Rage is just playing pretty good defense. Can he hold the door here? I mean, hold up here and lock up and get another turnover. Third down and four coming up. Skin staying in that single back wing. Close flex formation. Oakland Raiders playbook. Looks like he might want the hitch route if there's a heavy blitz to number 10, Tyreek Hill. Ooh, too many routes in the same spot. He's going to go to the backside, though, and that is Gale Sayers, Kansas City Comet, down the sideline. Great dot right there. That was the only read he could have had right there. Everything else smothered. Again, great defense by Rage, but when you hit your fourth read in your progression, that's just even better execution by Skins. Yeah, and he, he got him matched up with, looks like, Lawrence Taylor there. Gil Sears is going to win that battle every single time. There's no way Lawrence Taylor is going to guard Gil Sears in that open field like that. He has no shot. And now Skins will come out in the H wing. Strong alignment. That is Rhett Ellison in motion to the wide side of the field. Gives you kind of a tight formation. Here's that dive up the middle. Good defense once again by Rage. Run defense has been a consistent the past two weeks from Rage. That's why he won the tournament last week, and that's why he's looking so strong here early on in FNF number 37. All of our round two matches are set, if not underway. We have T. Moore versus Prodigy as Sayers is going to pick up. Nice chunk of yard. It's going to be third down and short. T. Moore versus Prodigy. Huncho Hodges versus Joe Rice. You're watching Skins versus Rage right now. Fancy going to be taking on Little Man. One great user versus Saya. Misery in his return to Friday Night Football with a second round matchup against Electric DC3. A Dot versus Joke. And VY Electrify versus Big George. That will be our last matchup of round number two as we have motion here. Twins, little stack alignment to the wide side of the field. We're going to see a timeout. My guy, one suspect user, is, is holding up his end of the bargain so far. He's gotten the win. <laughs> he's he's fighting so far. Can he get it done? Let's see if he gonna he's if he's gonna fight and and make it a run in this tournament. He said he's gonna do better than me. All this other stuff. We'll see what happens. I've been keeping an eye on user. He's been on his stream uh, stream grind lately, guys. So make sure you guys follow him. Twitch.tv slash one great user. Hilarious dude. I love watching him play Madden. I don't get a lot of time to watch. Uh, people play Madden on Twitch, but uh, he when he's live, uh, he's he's definitely must watch. Uh, one of the most entertaining players. Great run stick. Uh, this is a game that's built for users. Uh, he's gaining a little bit of strength as the year goes on, Bugs. Oh, most definitely. He's 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 a true character. That's my guy. So you know, he's I've been pushing him to stream more and more, and he's been doing it. Is that a stop? No, it's not. Oh, he, in for the touchdown. That's a big score right there. Skins. Going to make it a 14 to 10 ball game, assuming that extra point is good. And it will be good. Man, he missed that meter by a lot there, Bugs. It's honestly, it's too, it's too generous these days. It, it needs to go back. I can't remember which year it was. It was at the very beginning of one of the last three Maddens that's come out. At the very beginning of the year, it was very unforgiving. If you were even a, a smidgen off, you were going to miss that kick. And I think that's the way that it should be. I think you should be punished for missing these kicks badly. I don't think that they should be easy. I think they should be as difficult as possible because it's honestly the easiest thing. I think so, especially with the um, no no block chance if, you're mm -hmm. perf if you hit the accuracy bar. I think on that alone, I, I would definitely like to see it be a little bit less forgiving. I'm in agreement with you on that one. Second down and 10, tight slots formation here for Rage. Up by four, Rivers in the pocket, and that's a smart decision. He's going to lay down right there. Both triggers, click the right stick in, does a little Peyton Manning animation right there. Not enough players use that. See a lot of guys that run into a, a sack when you could actually just do that, and it's the same difference, but you don't actually have a fumble risk. Oh yeah, exactly. That was honestly that was high level right there. Just to be able to just to get down and not to take a sack there because sometimes I mean you're gonna be sick if you take that sack, you fumble, they scoop and score. So to just 
be heady enough to just get down and not take a hit is smart. Uh, Looney got in the chat. We have done one of our Joe Thomas giveaways. We had to re-roll it, and it was won by Red Enigma 23 I have not gotten confirmation from Rockets yet to let us know that that has been claimed, but we will keep you updated. As we have Rage with a four-point lead coming out of half. Again, he is trying to preserve this Blitz Cash bounty. For those that are new to Friday Night Football, Rocket Mortgage came on as our sponsor here about three weeks ago, allowed us to expand our prize pool from $1,000 winner take all to $1,000 to the winner plus another thousand to the player that knocks out the previous week's champion, that being Rage, as we see him nursing this lead, trying to keep that $1,000 alive because if he repeats he'll take home his own bounty the question for the chat is do you believe that rage can do it is the chat feeling rage right now are they feeling like rage is going to put, make a run or who does the chat feel like is going to make that run and win tonight's tournament rivers back to pass looking for an open receiver that is the wheel route bo jackson up the seam and that wheel route hits a nice little tender spot on the field. It's not like the hot routed wheel. It's more like that gun, uh, that gun bunch West Coast mesh post type wheel route. hits a hits a different area. Yeah, it it kind of hits inside of the field. It doesn't go all the way wide to the sidelines. It turns up field quickly and it kind of runs towards the seams. It's in the perfect spot, and as long as you hit it, it's money every time. Oh, man. Unfortunate break right there. I'm going to call that what it is. That was great defense right there by Skins. Just a little auto-broken tackle there. And that's what you pay the big cap to Bo Jackson for. And he walks in a few seconds later for the touchdown. Back up in front by two scores, 21-10. Rage. Still plenty of time. I, I, I'm still thinking that Skins has got a shot in this game. He's looked very solid. He, he's fighting Rage a lot more than most of Rage's other opponents the last two weeks. Yeah. He's fighting. He's doing everything he can do to just stay in the game. We'll see if he can put together a drive right here. He can't force it. He can't start to press and try to just get points quickly just because he's down two possessions in the second half. Game's not over. Just fight. Off to the races just like already. That. Just like that. <laughs> big strike on the first play of his possession going back the other way. Has him across midfield to the 35-yard line. 243 left in the third quarter. Want to let you guys know, this is something I don't think we've talked about, Bugs. Uh, got word from our stat guy, Ant Cap. Does great work, keeps everybody's records, lets everybody know what percentage of games they are against ever, all opponents, against top 500 opponents or over 500 opponents. Tonight was a special night for Friday Night Football, Bugs. Tonight was our 1,000th game of Friday Night Football. It actually happened in our first round, game number nine put us at 1000 so we crossed that we crossed that threshold this week wow that's amazing to see so many friday night football games and now like i remember from day 1 and now we're we've reached 1000 total games that that just goes to show that the chat has been supporting it's been growing now we have rocket mortgage joining the family helping us to grow this thing even more man uh, Honestly, it's truly humbling and just to be a part of it and just to watch how the growth and just be a part of it and enjoy the games. We have a lot of great games, honestly, a lot of great games and a lot of great content happens here on Friday Night Football. Yeah, that truly is a testament to you guys in the chat from the first ever Friday Night Football we ever ran with Boogs by himself in Huntsville in that. Uh, it was like a closet. We were like streaming out of a, a little closet to a thousand games of Friday night football. As of today, as we have a huge dot right there by skins, going to give him first down and goal from the nine we started off with a little bit of a, a humble beginnings, you know, a couple hundred in the chat to now thousands in the chat every Friday night appointment viewing. And we've got a brand new studio. We're going to unveil next week. Um, it just shows where competitive Madden is headed. And uh, you know, it, it's it's everybody it's rocket mortgage it's you know grubhub last quarter it's you know that the team here all of our casters you guys in the chat and of course the players i mean we can't do this without the players uh signing on and making this a regular thing and they've been great as well as this because becomes a staple and uh gail sayers just like that in for the touchdown we got an exciting finish coming up here 
44 seconds left, and it's going to be a four-point ball game. Or 44 seconds left in the third quarter, and it's going to be a four-point ball game. It, the players are putting their their schemes on the line. You know, they're, they're, they've been putting their schemes on the line. Think about it this year, just how the year started. Um, who was it? It was – who brought out Panther Heavy? I can't remember. Fitz. It was Fitz. Fitz brought out Panther Heavy, showed the world – the, he showed the world what my guy user would call the bubble gum, the bubble gum style offense. <laughs> just come out. I mean, the Panther Heavy was must see TV when we first saw it. I mean, it was something different. It was exciting to watch. Yeah, it was kind of glitchy, and you know, people were like, "Oh man, this is trash offense." But it was it was exciting to watch when it first came out. It was it was it was honestly a, a breath of fresh air just to see something different. But at the same time, then he put a scheme out there for the rest of the world to take and run with. I agree. I think that's the biggest change from 19 to 20. When we started in 19, I'm not saying that competitive players did not buy in because they did. Uh, but in 19, you saw a lot more players that were like, eh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to play because I've got club series coming up. I don't want to, you know, show my scheme on stream and risk you know costing myself club series now to this i mean we're a week away from club series and we got a guy like joke that's willing to play in this week in and week out if we could get that type of buy-in as we have bo jackson to the outside and he's down the sideline that looks like he's going to be untouched 10 5 touchdown rage back out in front by two scores but yeah bugs i mean more and more players they're starting to buy in as they know that this is a thing that they want to be a part of week in and week out yeah most definitely. And honestly, you know what's more important than that touchdown right there and all this other stuff? The re-roll. The guys in the <laughs> chat are spamming the dice. I'm seeing re-rolls everywhere. I'm seeing everybody talking about re-roll. So we're not going to waste any more time. We're just going to re-roll. Obviously, he didn't want the giveaway. So we're going to give it away. We're going to give it to someone else. 